G'day gorgeous people. So, you probably remember, or at least are trying to forget, that cinematic masterpiece from Aston Kutcher and Sean Michael Scott. Dude, where's my car? Well, I often run into guys like that, and they go all, dude, when I start talking to them about the health benefits of reducing the amount of animal protein that they get in their diet. And when you think about it, you know, China has just instructed its, its citizens to cut their meat intake by half, and even Arnie's telling the world to go vegan. But these guys, when I talk to them about cutting back on their meat intake, they get this real sort of distant look in their eyes, and they sort of gaze off and go, Dude, but if I don't eat meat, and I don't drink milk, and I don't eat eggs, where am I going to get my protein? And that raises a few interesting questions. I mean, I usually ask straight back, well, dude, how much protein do you really need? And they sort of go, well, you know, my muscle magazine, my muscle and fitness magazines and all that sort of thing tell me that I need one and a half grams to two grams of protein for every pound of body weight. And I said, well, you know, where did you get that information from? You know, did you pull it out of the encyclopedia of your ass or something? You know, where's the scientific basis for that? You know, let's use some common sense here and let's, let's ask some real questions for a second. When we look at longevity, the longest lived culture and society of people on the planet are the Okinawans in Japan. How much protein do they eat a day? 38 to 50 grams, and most of that is plant-based. So for a long life, you don't need a heck of a lot of protein every day. And then when we look at vegan bodybuilders, those guys get their protein within the range of 50 to 70 grams of protein a day, again, all plant-based, and they kind of top out at about 90 grams a day. So that's a heck of a lot less than one and a half grams per pound of body weight. So let's go to Common Sense Corner. What animals on the planet have the strongest skeletons and the most powerful muscular physiques? And there's two of them, gorillas and elephants. What do they eat? Again, they're largely a plant-based diet. Now let's go back to that time in our lives when we're growing the most rapidly. Childbirth to infancy. Our body weight triples in the first six months of life. And what are we, what are we consuming? We're consuming breast milk. So if we needed all of this protein, there must be a hell of a lot of protein in breast milk, right? Well, guess what? It's 1%. In cow's milk to bring a baby cow or baby calf into a full grown cow in just 18 months, the protein content is just 3.3%. So, do we really need all this protein for muscle growth and development? And the short answer is no. The physiologists have worked out we need about 50 to 75 grams of protein a day. But, dude, if I'm not eating meat, where am I going to get all my protein? Well, let's do a bit of a comparison here for a second. What animal product has the highest level of protein in a 100 gram serving? Well, that's chicken at 27 grams of protein per 100 grams of meat. Beef comes in second at 26 grams. Well, how do plant alternatives weigh up against that? Well, if we look at kidney beans, there's 24 grams of protein for a 100 gram serving. And when we go around the bowl here, we start to look at oats. We're looking at 17 grams of protein for every 100 grams. Chickpeas, 19 grams of protein for every 100 grams serve. Lentils, 9 grams of protein for every 100 grams serve. We come over here, broccoli, 2.8 grams for every 100 grams serve. Mushrooms, 3.6 grams. I mean, hell, eggs have only got 13 grams of protein for 100 grams. So, Chickpeas and kidney beans are, are almost double that. Now when we look at nuts and seeds, sunflower seeds, 21 grams of protein per 100 gram serving. That's almost again double what eggs are doing. Chia seeds, 18 grams of protein per 100 grams. Flax seeds, 19, 20 grams per 100 grams. Spinach, 3 grams. Then when we look at walnuts, we're looking at 4.3 grams, same as cashews, same as Brazil nuts, 
Almonds are up to 5.9 grams of protein per 100 grams. Now, if you only need 50 to 75 grams of protein a day, it is so easy to get it in a plant-based form. And when we look at the research and look at studies like the China study, the biggest study in the world on animal product consumption and what it does to your health, we find that above 70 grams of protein a day, especially if it's animal-based, we start to get higher risk for heart disease and various cancers, prostate cancers in guys, breast cancers in women specifically, and bowel cancers across the board. So let's make some intelligent health decisions, guys. And let's start substituting plant-based proteins and start leading a healthier life. Now, if you found this information useful, subscribe to our channel by clicking on the link here. Come down in the description box and click on the link to our Facebook page. Click like there. And while you're at it, Go on to our website, healthandfitnessover40.com, click on that and join the list for our daily newsletters. And look after your health. Your body will thank you for it.